So, here we have the Reaper Twins. Uh, we have the 20 inch model and my 16 inch model. They're both identical basically. Uh, this is the 16 inch barrel. It's, they're both bull barrels. Uh, they come with uh, flip up front sights and rear sights. Come saw. Uh, since this is a shorter weapon, I do have a holographic sight on it. Uh, just kind of more of, I wouldn't call it close quarters, but uh, closer uh, quarters. Uh, this one's really my uh, reach out and touch someone gun, and this one's more of a I can see you, but you can't see me yet. Uh, all right, well, uh, let me move one of these guys out of the way, and we'll get into some detail about him. Hang on one second. All right, uh, let me ditch this bipod. Oh, well, I guess we can start here. You have the LaRue uh, Tactical. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Probably not. The light's pretty bad right now. Uh, LaRue Tactical uh, Quick Detach Bipod System. Uh, I just pull this lever out and flip it, and you are minus bipod. Also, want to clear the weapon because what good is a gun when it's not loaded? I don't collect hammers, I collect weapons. Beautiful 308 in there. Mm hmm. 762 by 51, baby. Alright, so this guy, well, I guess we'll just start at the bot, the buttstock and work forward. Uh, comes with a, an LMT SOP mod, I believe, stock. Uh, it's got the uh, quick detach uh, sling mount. I uh, don't really like it much. Actually, this, this buttstock came with the uh, Tricon uh, that I have, my uh, M6A2 Tricon. Uh, it's also an LWRC. Uh, thing I don't like about it is this thing spins the uh, quick detach and you end up uh, pretzeling your sling and makes a big damn mess real quick. Uh, so you got your LMT stop mod, buttstock, uh, I believe these are Troy Industries uh, flip up sights. And one thing I really think that's super cool looking about this gun there's a little American flag. Here, let me move my light. Let's see if I can move my light. That's better. Yeah, the, there's a little American flag that they etched into. I don't know. Can you guys see that? Hmm. Yeah, a little bit, maybe. I don't know. I think that's classy as hell. I'm into our country. Uh, let me clear this. Uh, okay, so also moving forward, uh, I have the uh, EOTech, I believe it's an XL or an XR308 uh, holographic sight on here. The thing that's cool about this, it was made specifically for the ballistics of a, an uh, 7.62x51 round. It was actually I believe was in, set up for an uh, 18 inch barrel, but uh, I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of change in ballistics for what I intend on using this for. You know, this is my 100 to 300 yard rifle. Uh, but anyway, get a peep inside the uh, scope. I don't know if this is going to be easy or not. Uh, I don't know if you guys see in there, but it's got crosshairs and ballistic reference for, well, the center dot is 100 yards, the next dot down, I believe, is 600, then 800, then uh, uh, 1.200, or 1,000, pardon me, 1,200. Let me get a look in here. Hmm. Okay, I was wrong. It's uh, 0, then 600, then uh, 1,200. Anyway, you get the picture on that. Uh, the charging system on this is uh, kind of reminiscent to a Frankenstein version of the, uh, you know, the standard AR. 
but the charging handle isn't here. Uh, the operating system basically works identically, except the uh, charger handle is over here. Uh, uh, does not reciprocate uh, when the weapon is fired. Uh, it's just it stays stationary. There's a, uh, a detent, or actually a, a cup here that holds a detent spring and spring that locks into this spot. Uh, this also seconds as the uh, forward assist. Uh, when you hit that button, it'll uh, shove the bolt forward. Uh, it has ambidextrous uh, bolt catch slash release levers. A yeah, ping pong paddle on each side. Uh, obviously, standard uh, magazine release there, except it's California version, so you can't push on it. You got to have a tool. Uh, standard AR style dust cover. Uh, the uh, rails on it. I don't know if you can see, but the rails are basically split here, all the way around. Uh, and this comes apart a lot like uh, my uh, Tricon model. You'll probably hear me reference that a thousand times, but all the LWRC rifles, uh, basically this top portion comes off so you can uh, work with the uh, gas piston. There's a couple of thumb screws right here. There's another one. Just flippity flippity. And then basically you just pull forward and up and you can get at the gas system, piston, and whatnot in there. And putting it back is equally difficult. Uh, also on these guys, uh, unlike my uh, Tricon model. These do have uh, gas, uh, the gas block being right up front here. Uh, these do have uh, adjustable gas systems. Uh, I don't know if you can see on the front of that, but you see the letters uh, going clockwise A, N, S, and C. Actually, I don't know. In the camera, it might be counterclockwise to you guys. I don't know. Uh, but basically, you can twist this knob and whatever position it's in. Uh, I couldn't think of the word, but uh, anyway, the gas system, uh, N being for normal, S is uh, the gas selection for uh, silenced or having a silencer attached. Uh, the C at the bottom there is for uh, closed completely, so uh, it completely shuts the uh, gas port down, so you'd have to manually reciprocate the action to uh, load another round and A uh, is uh, it, it allows more gas into the system if the weapon uh, fouls or uh, you get a bunch of dirt and rocks or you know whatnot in the action uh, it just opens up the gas port even more compared to normal uh, it just it, it's wide open and it's going to try like hell to uh, cycle the action uh, also on the Reaper uh, you don't normally have uh, rails. It doesn't come with rails on the sides. Uh, the rails on the bottom, all of these little parts uh, come with the gun. There's four of these uh, little Picatinny rails. Uh, you can buy different sections. You can buy different lengths of sections. Um, but LWRC charges a ridiculous amount for them and honestly I don't see a need for them in this gun so I haven't purchased any but it does come with these four uh, and also this uh, one over here that also has the uh, a quick detach uh, sling that does not twist it only twists about uh, 15 degrees in either direction so your uh, only one end of your uh, sling turns into a pretzel uh, other than that, uh, that's about it for this gun. Um, I'm going to throw the sight back on here. And we will talk about the big boy.
Happy Easter, people. Bok bok, Easter Bunny. Okay, so this guy is basically the same gun. Uh, on top, I have mounted a millet. Uh, what is this? A 16 by, or pardon me, a uh, 4 by 16 by 50 uh, scope uh, that is illuminated. Uh, it does have uh, it's a mill dot uh, reticle. Uh, let me clear this real quick. Mm hmm. Um, we'll go back to front again. Uh, on this came with uh, the Magpul uh, PRS uh, stock, which uh, is pretty nice actually. I like it. Uh, it's everything you can ask for in a uh, precision rifle buttstock. Uh, you can adjust these screws. It lengthens the uh, pull, lengthens the length of pull, uh, and then this second knob here uh, raises and lowers the cheek weld, which is pretty sweet. Uh, other than that, uh, there's really no difference in these two rifles. Uh, you have the same you know, action, same forward assist, same you know safety. Stuff. It does have the ambidextrous uh, ping pong paddles. Uh, the, there is one major difference though in the trigger system. This one, uh, uh, this one has, uh, you're not going to be able to see it, it's obviously inside the uh, lower receiver, but uh, this one uh, has a uh, Giselle or Giesel or however you pronounce it. Uh, adjustable uh, trigger in it that is I don't know if you'll be able to tell but I don't want this thing to go off <laughs> make sure there's nothing in there but uh, it, it's got a little bit of slack but beyond that it's a hair trigger it's really really nice uh, so yeah uh, there's my two reapers and I uh, hope you guys are having a great Easter. And, uh, yeah. Take care, y'all. Keep prepping.